With Tyneside and Northumberland Mine, we realised that the time people need support is often night times and weekends, times when they can't easily access a member of our team to help. So we looked at developing a mood app where people could register their moods and track what's making them feel better or worse and what's impacting on their mental health and wellbeing. The app is a self-help tool where you can rate your mood and update your journal as often as you like. You can track triggers and activities such as exercise, diet, medication and sleep. The mood tracker allows you to monitor your mood over days, weeks and months and it allows you to spot patterns in your mood and behaviour. So you can record your mood several times a day. All you have to do is click on Rate My Mood and you can rate it from 1, as bad as it gets, to 10, as good as it gets. When you rate your mood, you can also write in your mood journal. So you can leave a note about what you've been doing, how you've been feeling, and it might be using the keywords, say for example, sleep 8 hours, walk in 30 minutes, and all of these added to your history. You're able to track your mood history and look at your ups and downs. And this means that the app can be used for a whole range of issues, whether you have a diagnosis of a mental health problem or maybe you just want to promote good mental health and protect your wellbeing. When you look back over your entries, you should be able to identify any triggers in your mood and behaviour. So each coloured bar represents your hourly scores and when you click on that, you'll be able to see your journal entry, your mood score and any keywords that you may have used. One of the clever things about the app is it identifies reoccurring words and turns these into a set of keywords. You can then click on these keywords and look at your scores that correspond to them and spot trends in your mood. The app is helpful for me as a professional as it allows me to work with a client and gain more of an insight into their mood, their behaviour and how that is affecting their mental health. As a user the app helps me not only keep a record of how I've been feeling and identify any triggers or any particularly low moments, it also enables me to look when I'm feeling particularly down and my mood is quite low. I can then look at what I was doing when I scored for example a 9 or a 10 on the app and I can then repeat that activity to try and improve my mood and increase my score. As well as the mobile app, you can sign up for the web-based version. This gives you access to different functions, such as taking part in polls on different subjects, receiving messages from us, and also sharing wellbeing tips. Users who register for the website can sync between their mobile device and the web-based version. You can download and print your mood history, and you can share this with your counsellor, your GP, or other healthcare professional. Mental health problems are incredibly common, with one in four people experiencing a mental health problem at any time. The app empowers people to take control of their own mental health by monitoring their behaviours and their mood and giving insights now this can impact on your mental health. This means you can make changes for the future which can improve your wellbeing. The app has helped me over the last seven months because it enables me to be aware of my depression and how I'm feeling. And if I start to notice that I'm starting to feel particularly low, then I can do something to help myself or I can seek help if I need it.